Hello everyone, it's your Round Ball here and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get into orbit, but first you're going to need a rocket. So first point I'm going to say is I've made a video on how to create a simple rocket, which will basically get you into space, but it's not going to have enough fuel to get you into orbit. So if you're just looking for that, go along to that video, I'll put it in the description for you. But first, I'm going to show you now how to create a rocket that's going to get you into orbit. So I'm just going to go through it quickly so we can get to the main part. I'll put um, in the description a time of when I actually start the tutorial for orbit if you don't need a rocket. But I'll show you how to build the rocket quickly now. So you want to take the Mark 1 Command pod. So you want to click that, it's going to appear there. You want to go to Utility and you want to get a Mark 16 parachute. So you chuck that on top. Right. You want to go to coupling, so you want something to break off, so you want to put that there. Oh, it's not clicked on. So you want to put that there. You want to go to fuel, you want a bit of fuel. Chuck that on there like that. Oh, no, 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 I missed a step. So you want to go to command and control. So you want this advanced inline stabilizer first, and then you want the fuel. So you want to put the fuel there. And then you want engines, and you only want a small engine. You just need enough to get yourself into orbit. So you want to put that there, and that's the first step done. That's the first little rocket done. So the next step you want to do is you want to go to coupling again, and you want to pick the same one, the TR18A stack decoupler, and you want to put that there like that. So you can break this off, and it'll be its own little rocket. Okay. So you want to go back to fuel tanks. You need a bit more fuel. So you want about three of these. One, two. Three. And then obviously you're going to need an engine for this as well. So we're going to take it. We'll take this one. You want to put that there like that. And then you want a little bit more power. So you want more. You want a bit more fuel and a bit more of engine. But first you want to go to coupling. You want to grab this. You want to put this to four times. You want to chuck that just on the bottom there. So you've got four of them. You want to go to engines and you want to select the RT10 hammer and you want to leave that on 4 and you want to chuck that on there. Last step is you want a bit more control so go to here advanced inline stabilizer again leave it on the 4 and you just want to put them on all these rockets here. So there you go you've got your rocket we're all set up we're ready to go to orbit so I'm going to leave it there guys and I'm going to jump to the launch pad and I'll see you in a second. Right guys, welcome back and we are now on the launch pad. So the first step you want to do is actually toggle this SAS, which is going to keep your rocket controlled and you're not going to spin out, so you want to click that. Second step is to throttle up here by holding shift or whatever button you've got it set to and click space. And now we are off. Right, so whilst we're just wasting this fuel, I'm going to go through the main steps. And the main step is to keep inside this circle on this little ball here. So you want to keep inside the circle. You've also got to keep an eye on how high you're going. So first of all, you also got to wonder when this will run out. When this run out, you want to click space and click space again, and your fuel kicks off again. So now it's more or less a waiting game. So we're going to wait till this gets to about 35,000 meters. When that gets to about 35,000 meters, this should be just below halfway. So we just have just under halfway of fuel left to get us up into space and start the orbit. So you can see it's at 16,000 meters now. Remember to try and stay inside the circle. You can see it's moving just over here a little bit. So try and stay inside it as best as you can. But when we do get to 35,000 meters, I'm going to cut the toggle, stop the throttle. And we're going to time warp just to shoot ourselves up just a bit quicker so we don't waste time. So we're at 30 now. You can see it's just going to be below halfway fuel. 34, 35. So I want you to click X. And my time warp is the full stop button. So you can go to about 4. You can see this is moving now. Try and stay in it. But our aim, as you can see here, is we want to get to just about here. Just on that AP. So keep an eye on here. Stay in the little circle as best as you can. We're still time warping. And then let it come round. And you want to leave it right about there, just on it. So stop your time warp. Remember to stay in the circle, so let's get to the circle. So you want to 
You don't want to go into the red part, but you want to stay about here and then start the fuel again. So you'll see it come back. So you can see this now expanding, which is what we want, which is good. It's going to create our orbit for us. So you also want to keep an eye on your fuel. But this little circle thing, you don't want to go into the red zone because that's, you're just going to head back to um, Kerbin. So you want to bring it back like I am now. So try and stay around there. You can see it's starting to come out, which is good. It's creating a nice orbit. You can see our fuel's just about to run out. But that's why we created a bigger rocket with more fuel. And then that's run out. Get rid of that with space and then go again. You want to till it up just a little bit more. And then you can see the orbit is slowly coming together. Let's try and get back in that circle just a little bit. It's coming together nicely. Also remember to keep an eye on your fuel. It's a cool little rocket though, isn't it? It is a cool little rocket. And there you go, we've got an orbit. We have got an orbit. So you want to come out, cut your fuel with X, and there you go. You've got yourself an orbit. So this is like the first step to get into other planets and stuff like that. I mean, my orbit has come out quite nicely. Some orbits are poke right out here with a small bit here, and it'll take you back into the planet and you overheat and stuff like that. You don't want that, but the more practice you do, the better you're going to get at doing these orbits. So just to show you on a time warp, so let's time warp. You can see I'm going around the planet. It's brilliant. Just keep going around. Time warp as fast as possible. The closer you get to a planet, the less time warp you can do. But it's quite dark here where you haven't got the sun. You can see it there. And there's the sun again. And you just keep going round and round. And you can leave your little guy up here. You can do all sorts up here when you get into um, orbit. But obviously that's down to you what you want to do. But as you can see... Cannot walk faster than 50 times while below 1,200 meters. But yeah, we're in a good orbit now. You can see on here we're going round. You can do the orbit a bit more now. And it's great. So I will do videos on how to get to like Mun or Moon, however you want to pronounce it. Personal preference, I'd say. Some might argue. But I'll do videos on that. How to get to different planets and just little Easter eggs on planets as well. Because I know there's Easter eggs on certain planets. But yeah, as you can see, we've got a nice little bit. And um, I hope this video's helped you out a lot, guys. But I'm going to leave it there. And obviously, go check out my other video where I build a simple rocket. If you just want to get into space, if that's your kind of thing. But check out all my other KSP tutorials. I've got one on a rover as well. But I'll put them in the description for you. But remember, if you need anything or you want any other tutorials, just leave a comment saying, oh, would you be able to show me this? Would you be able to show me that? And there might be stuff I don't know and we can learn together so that would be pretty cool. But yeah I'm going to end it here guys. If you did enjoy it remember to hit that share button. Hit that like button. And most importantly hit that subscribe button guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace.